Now you've set up your first team, you're ready to set some work for the children to complete. You can do this by creating an assignment. Click on the assignment icon to the left of the screen, then click create, followed by assignment. This next window allows you to choose which of your teams the assignment is being created for. I'm going to create an assignment for my new year three team. Click the team, followed by next. Now you can give your assignment a title and give any additional instructions or guidance that the children may need. Next we can add resources. This could be images, PDFs, Word documents, whatever you would like the children to use to complete the work. For this assignment, I'm going to use a Word document that the children can edit and add their own text to. Now I can choose the date and time that the assignment should be completed by. Your assignment is now ready to go out to students. If you don't want to send it out yet, then click save and it will be stored in your drafts. Otherwise, click assign. We're now going to see the year three team from a student's point of view. You can see that the details of the new assignment are shown on the post tab of the general channel. Students can access the new assignment by clicking view assignment or are able to view all of their assignments by clicking on the assignments tab at the top of the screen. Students will see the title, instructions and the due date and time for their assignment. When they click on the Word document I added to the resources, Microsoft Word will open up in Teams. The student can then edit the document and click close once they have completed the work. If they close the document, their work will automatically save so that they can return to edit it later. When the student is happy with their work, they can click hand in to submit their assignment to the teacher. Now back to the teacher's teams. Click on the assignments icon, click on the assignment you want to view and you can see the details of the students who have and those who haven't submitted their assignment. Click on a turned in piece of work to see the student's completed assignment. Now you can give the student feedback and any next steps. They will receive a notification to let them know that you've marked their work. Enjoy setting up your assignments, check out our other videos on how to get started with Teams and setting up a meeting for remote learning.